Hey everybody, we're back at Sparks in the City. We're here in 78th Street Studios for Third Friday. I'm with the owner, Dan Bush, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the studio. Well, Jonathan, thanks so much for being here tonight. We're happy to welcome you and welcome the audience back to Third Friday. Um, we obviously were kind of uh, knocked for a loop back in March like the rest of the world uh, with the pandemic. We were shut down for a couple of months and uh, listening to our audience, we have very carefully and uh, in a very structured way, reopened our doors. It's got this floating look, uh, so it looks like the glass is just suspended, you know, into the table. And but all of this is Ohio? Yeah. From Ohio? It's all local Ohio sourced uh, hardwoods. I was um, traveling out west. Uh, this actually is a photograph that was blown up. Um, I, I took the piece and painted the yellow and then went through and detailed it all out and then I wanted to, I'm, with my art, whenever you're, if you would come here, the, the pieces, I, I want you to think. I want you to push of what, what it could be. I, all of the hallways, there's a lot of art everywhere. I was just going to touch on that. That's, that's one of the most exciting things about the building. Mm -hmm. The uh, 60 tenants in, in 78th Street actually curate all the halls outside their spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the main corridors are collaborative efforts among a, a variety of galleries. Uh, these are actually the works of uh, Hilary Gent, who runs Hedge Gallery, and uh, you'll be speaking with her in just a short moment. Introduce you to Hilary Gent. Hi. Hi, Hi Hilary. I'm How Jonathan, are you? and thank you for being with us for Sparks in the City. Absolutely. Thanks I for just, coming in. I just stepped in, and <laughs> immediately I'm blown away. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. This you know. is not my work. We, okay, okay. We okay. show local artists work here at Hedge Gallery. We represent 15 emerged or established artists from Northeast Ohio. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. So okay. tell us a little bit about the work. It's a lot of close-ups of body parts. Correct. Okay. Correct. So this is all one artist's work. There's actually 58 pieces in here. Oh, so wow. I'll take you on a tour. But um, the work is by Cleveland artist Katie Richards. Okay. And Katie is a Cleveland Institute of Art graduate. Okay. I started representing her work about seven years ago. Oh, wow. And we've been working together ever since. So she, I've watched her evolve from painting the human body to underwater landscapes, and now she's back to the body again, but studying it in a whole different format. Mm, so. Very cool. So take me through your process of taking on an artist and, and showcasing the work in your gallery. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I, I actually am an artist myself, okay. and I can show you some of my work, but I, uh, when I opened the gallery 11 years ago, I really noticed that there was um, a space needed in Cleveland uh, to represent artists who maybe weren't getting the recognition that they deserved. Mm. Um, there were a lot of people that were you know, involved in diverse mediums that just weren't getting that attention. Mm. And I felt like it was really difficult for artists to actually be able to reach out to commercial galleries. Mm. It's not something you necessarily learn how to do in school or right, art school. Right. So I wanted to create a space for them to explore their mediums, to experiment, and to showcase. And so right behind me, we have your work on display. It's a little bit different from your dad's. It's yeah, awesome. absolutely. It, um, I've done a lot of different types of work, but I was kind of, I'm the visual manager at Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh, wow. Um, and I do a lot of like vinyl graphic work and stuff. So they kind of inspired the vinyl graphic aspect and kind of inspired these paintings. Mm -hmm. And I picked three different cities that I wanted to do something with, but make very graphic representations of like the city. So this first mm -hmm. one would be LA. So you got mm -hmm. the beach, the water, but you also have the concrete, the sun, and then little pops of green with palm trees. So this is Cleveland. Okay. So you got the arch from Westside Market, mm -hmm. same coloring, it's kind of the brick yeah. running through it. You also have your, your streets, but also the amount of trees that are in Cleveland, around Cleveland, with the metro parks. Uh, Ohio wow. maple, and it's got a natural turquoise in some of the cracks here that I inlaid. And um, with the exterior glass work, the natural um, color of the glass is actually this kind of turquoise, um, uh, it's called Azuria, and 
But with this particular wall piece, I lit it up so that you can kind of change the colors on your phone app and kind of play wow. with different functions of like the way this thing will react to like Super you know cool. music and sound and so it's kind of a fun piece, you know, it has a lot of different things you can do with it, but it's you know, it's a fun piece to have on your wall. Oh my so I'm grateful to Fresh Eggs for um, for kind of creating a nice little entryway to King Contemporary. At the back entrance of our frame shop, which is Walk and Frame and Art. Okay. So uh, this gate is that business and Hello? kind of feel and so um, a lot of artists in Cleveland have, have mentioned the collaboration that takes place so yeah I mean it, is that something that's unique yes. to artists or unique to artists in Cleveland or honestly I feel like it is unique to artists in Cleveland I mean I you hear it in other cities but Cleveland's art scene is so tightly knit mm -hmm. um, we, we are so close and there are collaborators that overlap mediums so you'll find you know, printmakers collaborating with sculptors and painters going to a printmaking studio to explore different mediums and all over. So I think that one of the most important things we do is influence each other's work to continue growing. So I've done several of these pieces for, for Cleveland and uh, they're great for like the corporate office or a home. Um, so they're just really nice looking. This is really like a total arts experience walking through, even through the hallways. Uh, tell us a little bit about 78th Street, how it started. Uh, what was your thought process going into it? Well, um, I bought the building 20 years ago. Uh, wow. The space we're standing in was actually a Corian countertop factory. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't have any grand plans for a cultural arts institution at the time, mm -hmm. but I, um, I was collecting uh, the art of Northeast Ohio, um, which is, we talked a little bit about it earlier, but uh, incredible quality has come out of this area historically since the 1900s. And um, it just so happened that people I did business with, uh, art dealers and auctioneers, were the first folks I approached when I had vacancy. And uh, it kind of, in an unusual way, organically grew into what it is today. Good collage you know. Can you tell us a little bit about this piece? Talking about how, you know, hometowns and cities kind of degrade after a time once people kind of move out of the space. Tim, um, right? Yeah, this is Micah. I, um, I recognize him. I've met him before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, uh, Not on a bike, but... <laughs> he, I mean, he can bike. Oh, I mean, he can I do not believe Really quick. Uh, uh, Dan mentioned that you've been painting water yes. for about three years now. So just can you tell me a little bit about Absolutely. About that? Do you want to go out there really quick? Sure. Okay, sure cool. And the textures and the reflections. It's become like this tangible place to meditate and mm -hmm. like find myself. So I started working instead of with oil paint um, with latex house paint. Mm. And I started pouring the paint on the canvas. So all of these are done while they're flat on the ground. Oh, wow. And I mix the paint into different sized cups and I literally work my body around the canvas, whether it's elevated on a table or on the ground, to make these movements and the paint is poured onto the canvas. And it creates these layers and these textures that I see in the water. So it's really about 
you know, replicating and mimicking what Lake Erie, with the impression that Lake Erie leaves on me, um, and bringing it to life in a canvas. Well, well thank you, because it's leaving an impression on me. <laughs> and, and I find that, you know, whenever I go to the, the river or the lake, yes. there's a sense of peace and calm. Absolutely. Uh, I also lived in LA for a little while, so <laughs> I understand, you know, how the ocean, you know, impacts people. It does. And having, you know, Lake Erie in our own backyard has been incredible for me and uh, incredibly therapeutic. And it's amazing how you can, you know, communicate that through your work. Thank you. 